So how to evaluate net energy of ingredients uh, and diets? We have seen in the previous videos that uh, measuring net energy is rather complex. I mean, it needs specific equipments. It is also time consuming. It can be very expensive according to the equipments and the time. And so I, I consider that measuring net energy of feeds is more research activity. But in practice, uh, feed industry or formulators or people from the field require rapid, very simple and cheap uh, methods uh, for development of the net energy concept. The solution for solving that problem is using the prediction equations that have been produced in the literature. So several equations have been proposed and developed from studies where the net energy of a large number of diets was measured, I would say 20 diets or even more, and what is important as well is that one equation, I mean one equation obtained from a set of uh, diet data, is equivalent to a net energy sy system. So that means that one difficulty or one source of confusion for the net energy concept is that several equations have been proposed or have been produced per for the pigs, for instance, and these equations are not exactly comparable. But nowadays, the most used set of equations implemented uh, is uh, in most countries and also implemented in the most important feeding tables, such as those of the NRC, of INRA, and the Brazilian tables, is based on a large-scale study that was conducted in France uh, in the 80s, 90s. One example of these equations is provided here uh, where the net energy of the feed is a function of the DE content of the feed plus or minus uh, some factors related to the crude nutrients. You can notice that iter extract or starch have a positive effect on that equation while crude protein and crude fiber uh, have a negative effect on this energy value. So as for pigs, a few studies have considered net energy in poultry and they have attempted to establish net energy prediction equations also in the 60s and the 70s. But I must say that up to now none of these equations have been really implemented in the feed industry. But new studies have been conducted over the last 10 or 15 years and the most important and recently published equations originating from the University of New England in Australia. So in practice, we should say that net energy value of diets or of ingredients is calculated from an equation. The question now is to decide on one equation. I should stress that also there is no need to measure the net energy of ingredients, but as you have seen from the previous equations, net energy is calculated from DE or ME. That means that DE or ME values or digestible nutrients should be uh, re very reliable. I have also shown that net energy equation and also net energy value is very much dependent on the methodologies and the protocol of the studies, which means that net energy values originating from different labs of different studies shouldn't be combined. So coming back to the first point, I think it's important to decide on one equation and one system for moving to net energy. I have tried to show you that net energy system is a nice concept, but establishing this co the net energy system is rather complex and is devoted to research activities. But according to the equations that are available, th this concept is very easy to implement at the in industry level. I would, I would simplify by saying that you need only a spreadsheet 
for calculating the net energy value from the, your DE or your ME. This has been done, I would say, in the peak sector uh, and to a very large extent in the main areas of peak production in the world, but it's not yet available and not available and not used in poetry.